It's 2023 and men are still at it, bringing down everything that has been built up for women and more. That right now. According to Attitude Magazine, which is having its very first Woman of the Year award, Dylan Mulvaney has been crowned Woman of the Year. I know I'm, I'm prepared to get all the comments and all the things about how I'm a bigot and a transphobe and all that sort of thing. But just hear me out for a moment. When someone like myself, or let's say a conservative pundit, if that's what we're going to use, make it easy, claims that women are being erased or women's rights are being erased. This is what we're talking about. Now, I don't personally have an issue with Dylan Mulvaney wanting to be called a woman by name, but I do think it's important that we have clear boundaries between what is a woman and what is a trans woman. Matter of fact, I think it should be even something that should be looked into. Why not have a trans woman of the year category? This is something that's truly regular in nature and that we're gonna be living with for the rest of our lives. Then it may only make sense to have this category you think? So in this article, Dylan Mulvaney is living her best life as the first woman to win Attitude Magazine's Woman of the Year Award. During the acceptance, Dylan reached out to trans youth and said, to the trans youth out there in America, in the UK, and beyond, I love you. I support you. Stay with us. You are so worthy of love, and I'm so proud of you. I love you. Don't have any issues with this sentiment coming from a person who lives their life as the opposite gender. Again, I don't... I, if this is here to stay, I don't really mind all that much. My issue with this, and this is important to listen now, is that we're taking a woman's award and handing it to a biological male, thus proving men are the best women. I know that might be a bit hyperbolic, but you know, I had to squeeze it in there sometime. She goes on to say, no matter how hard I try or what I wear or what I say or what surgeries I get, I will never reach an acceptable version of womanhood by those hateful people's standards. But as long as I have the queer community that sees me for my truth, I'm going to be okay. I think it's important to, to make the distinction between trans women and women. Again, Dylan wants to be referred to as a woman, wants to live his life as a woman. I don't really care. But I do think that if we're going to call this the woman of the year, I think we slipped up a little bit. She goes on to talk about how she's been subject to online abuse and bullying and Bud Light not standing up for her through all the controversy. Now, all of that may be true, and I don't think it's right to threaten or abuse or harass anyone. That's not the point of this video, and I don't condone it one bit. The point I'm trying to make is we need to distinguish who these awards are for, because if we're allowing biological men to have the same foothold in these awards as biological women, and then the biological men win, you can only come down to one conclusion, that men are just better at everything. and Ultimately, the patriarchy wins out. It's important to make the distinction that I don't want anyone to not be successful. But Dylan is also a very boisterous, big personality. And sometimes people don't want that as a part of their branding. Perhaps one of these women's magazines or perhaps, perhaps there's a magazine that can spark out of this as, uh, for trans women or trans men. And we could, um, maybe she could be an ambassador there. The point is, I think we need to lay some ground rules and identify who these awards are are really for. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Should we be drawing lines between women and trans women? Should Dylan be taking home an award for what is labeled as women, woman of the year? I appreciate you watching this video. Please be sure to share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And of course, hit the notification bell so you know every time I go live or I post a brand new video. Thank you so much. See you next time.